One of the interesting revelations in Prince Harry's book is the fury about uh, Paul Burrell, uh, the nondescript butler who penned his own uh, memoir about Diana, who presumably uh, got a ghostwriter to pen their memoir about Princess Diana. Um, and uh, he apparently said that um, in response to censure by the royal princes, Burrell said he wanted to give um, the princes a piece of his mind. Uh, Harry says that he was anxiously waiting for that meeting. Um, and I don't know why, I presume the palace quashed it. I told myself, shame. I thought of the man as one errant steer that got away that summer. Um, I'm not quite sure what he means by that. An errant steer. Um, is that a reference to some sort of cow? Or I, I, don't, I don't really know what a steer is in this context. I think maybe it's a, um, a malapropism. Um, but I shouldn't question anybody about doing that as I'm given to malapropisms myself. Um, but, you know, somebody who is trusted. Uh, Burrell was trusted by Princess Diana. Um, and Harry calls Burrell's book a cold and overt betrayal, simply a way of making money. He was milking Diana's death for money, um, and he penned a royal duty in 2003 and made Harry's blood boil. But, of course, the question is, um, is this the pot calling the kettle black? Uh, Harry, I'm afraid, has also done a deal with um, the satanic powers of journalism simply to make money. He said initially when he uh, was denied uh, the money from his father uh, that he was going to turn to the media to fund his lifestyle in the US. So he's done. So he's done. I don't know quite whether that is any different to the activity of Paul Burrell.